Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the new Casa. This is not a normal Buff Bunny launch, you guys. I mean, all their launches are pretty special, right? But this in particular is another collab launch with the one and only Ms. Bailey Stewart. Period. I'm so excited for this. Like, you have no idea. Bailey, like, we all know her for her glutes, right? Like, she looks absolutely amazing. So, we already know that she was gonna come through with the bright colors, with the seamless, with the booty scrunches, with the juicy contour lines. And she did not play around with this collection. So, get prepared for your butts to look absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait to dive in. So, let's just go ahead and do just that. The juicy collection launches on July 27th at 1 p.m. Central Time. That is this Saturday. So, mark your freaking calendars because because you do not want to miss this collection, guys. I believe Heidi said in her stories a couple of days ago that this collection is the last bright collection that we're seeing for 2024, like the summer season, I guess you could say. So this is your last chance to get your hands on some like crazy bright colorways for this year. I think we, you know, we're going out with a bang because this color palette is just so beautiful. With that being said, let's just dive right into the colors that are coming out. Starting out with our more neutral colorways, we have white, onyx black, cold brew, as well as bone. Let's move on to the crazy colorways we have miss peach rings which i believe has launched before i don't think that was when i worked with buff bunny collection though so this is my first time seeing this colorway but peach rings this absolutely beautiful orange colorway it's not like too in your face but it's not too muted either i think it pairs beautifully with the rest of the bright colorways which i'll dive into right now so next up we have guava which is making a comeback i think bailey said that she actually came up with guava we first saw her in snack i was absolutely obsessed head over heels for this colorway. I think it is one of the most beautiful pinks that Buff Bunny Collection has ever done. Love me some guava. Next up in terms of brights, we have Honeydew. So these are the three colors that I just think pair so beautifully together. Like, are you actually freaking kidding me? Like, this is the fruity color palette of my dreams. I especially like Honeydew. I think green is like one of the colors that looks the best on me as well. So whenever I saw Honeydew, I was like, I have to have her because this is just such a pretty, pretty colorway. Blue Bubbles, which is also making a comeback. This initial came out in Catherine's collection. We also have Limon Pepino, which is also a new colorway. I will, of course, pop color comparisons up here for you guys to see. But in addition to that color, we have Miss Lipstick Red, which I know you see her back there. I feel like that is a true bold red. Like it really is giving lipstick red. Whenever you think of a bold red lip, I feel like you're gonna envision that colorway. That's gonna take care of it for all of the like bright slash new colorways that we have going on. The remaining two colors that are definitely like opposites of what I just mentioned a lot more dark, a lot more moody, I guess. We have Barista Blue coming back. I believe we first saw this in the Genesis collection or like the Butter Capsule maybe. And then we also have a new colorway called Venom, which I do have back here as well. It's a purple colorway that almost looks kind of brown in my opinion because it's just that dark. So that takes care of it for all of the solids that we have coming out. But we do have a couple of prints, I guess. First and foremost, we have Pink Holographic. I did not pick up any pink holographic pieces because I am not a holographic girly, I don't think. It's just not my cup of tea. Followed by an ombre. So we have honeydew ombre coming out. It is a mix of honeydew as well as blue bubbles. It looks phenomenal on every single person who's tried it on. And I was like, dang, maybe I should have picked up the ombre leggings, but I just know that I wouldn't get as much wear out of it just because I'm not an ombre gal at the end of the day. Let's go ahead and move on to fabrics. First and foremost, we have Shape Seamless coming out. So we initially saw this in Catherine's collection, a little bit different from the BBL fabric, very much on the dense knit side. Like you can tell that it is a knitted seamless fabric by its hand feel. And um, it's incredibly stretchy, very forgiving. It looks like a toddler's leggings whenever you initially hold it up, but once you put it on, it just fits like a glove. So I really, really like the shape seamless pieces. In addition to that, we also have butter and Nubri coming out as well as air knit. So I think the little like graphic that I've done has all three of those fabrics compared with each other. So I will put them up here for you guys. They are essentially all brushed or semi brushed fabrics, incredibly stretchy, but they're just offered in different pieces depending on what type of activity they are being constructed for, if that makes any sense. Last but not least, we have an eco poly and I believe that is just for the pink holographic pieces. The holographic pieces used to be in the Elysium fabric, but I don't think they're doing Elysium anymore. Unfortunately, I do not have, again, the pink holographic pieces, so I don't know what it feels or fits like, but it does look like it is a sweat wicking performance fabric. Moving on to products that are coming out, we have the contour legging, aggressive scrunch legging, aggressive scrunch flare legging, which has been tested by Catherine herself, so we do know that it is big calf friendly. In addition to that, we have the 
the new Miracle Seamless Legging. Now, like PSA, I'll put like a little alert up here for you guys, but the Miracle Seamless Legging is the only piece that is on pre-order. No athlete has it. I think Bailey has it, but only the samples. You can still add it to your order when you're checking out, but just know that if all of your order ships out, the only thing that won't be shipping out yet is the Miracle Seamless. It's only gonna be a couple weeks. It's not gonna be a couple months like the Dream House pre-order, if you guys remember that, just a couple weeks. So. Keep that in mind. We also have form seamless coming out. This legging was first introduced in the summer sale, so literally a couple weeks ago, and I requested for this legging, but they didn't send it to me. I think it's because they were just prioritizing all the athletes and they could only give out so much for PR. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the seamless to show you guys today, which is a bummer because I love me some seamless. We all know this, but I've heard nothing but good things about the form seamless leggings. The last legging that we have is going to be the legacy legging. Moving on to shorts, we actually only have two shorts this time around, so it's gonna be the aggressive scrunch seven inch short as well as the rebel six inch short let's go ahead and move on to tops and sports bras we have the adjustable nubri bandeau twisted halter sports bra butter bandeau crop the curve sports bra coming out wonder seamless sports bra revolution halter crop v2 alpha sports bra candy wrap sports bra plunge sports bra jesus christ there are a lot of sports bra options like buff bunny collection always goes crazy with their sports bras but last but not least in the athlete leisure section, we have the Shape Seamless Bodysuit, Aeronet Bolero Shrug, Long Sleeve Curve Crop, Juicy Tee, Moves Tee, Mini Game Changer Backpack, as well as the Butter Scrunchie. I'll go ahead and put the FAQ on the screen, as well as the bra and bottoms compression. As per usual, I will go ahead and put my sizing and measurements somewhere up here on the screen. It's always going to be down in the description, as well as timestamps for every single product that I go through. If you find this video helpful, then code Tracy will save you 10% off on launch day, which is this Saturday. So with all that being said, let's get into the review. Alrighty friends, first and foremost, I have the Twisted Halter Sports Bra in the peach rings colorway, size small. I feel like in all of the twist bra variations that Buff Bunny Collections come out with, I always just stick with a size small because they're already so minimal. <laughs> As we can see that the additional coverage with sizing up is nice. If you're in between sizes, definitely size up. I mean, there are a couple things as to why, but I'll go through those details here in a second. Also, I have made a little graphic comparing this twist bra to other twist bras that have previously come out, as well as the Revolution Halter bra. So I'll pop those pictures up here on the screen for you guys to see what those differences are. Aside from that, let's go ahead and talk details about the sports bra, right? It has obviously a very plunging neckline. It has a twist detail in the center, removable bust pads, and then no bottom band either. It's very similar, once again, to the other twist bras that have come out. So it's basically the two fabrics sewn at the very bottom. In my previous experiences with these type of bras, it should, you know, ride up and show under boom, right? It's not riding up. It's literally not riding up. It's so crazy. I wore this for, I think it was like a hamstrings and glutes day or a back day or something. And I was very much expecting for my under boob to be showing, but it's not showing. It is so crazy, you guys. Definitely a low support sports bra, but the thing that I'm just more surprised at is the fact that it didn't ride up. Like that is just so crazy to me because the other ones did. Otherwise, if we turn to the back, the two straps kind of come up and then are sewn in the center right there. It is not adjustable at all. So so there is a little like bulge right here in the center, but I didn't notice it really digging in or being super abrasive or annoying or anything like that. But just to make you guys aware, there is a little like knot up there where the two straps are sewn right there in the middle. The two sides of the bra do come back into this very thin back band with the B silicone logo right there smack dab in the center. I love how this bra looks. I think it is so freaking flattering. I feel as good and as supported as a halter sports bra would support me. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, my biggest thing is that this just doesn't write up. So I just really, really like this bra. Um, this is definitely like 100% my favorite twist bra variation that's come out. Has like decent side boob coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage because there is definitely like a little bit of skin showing on the sides right here, but I still think the coverage is just fine. Here is your gait test in a size small. Ain't nothing falling out. You guys already saw me do the little like run test, very low compression once again. Earlier, I said to size up if in between because if we look here, we can kind of see my lats. They're still spilling over and there's a seam right here at the top and bottom of this back band that goes all the way back. So if your lats are on the wider side, then I can definitely see these seams like digging in right here especially and creating like a little bulge back here as well. So definitely size 
up if you're in between sizes, but otherwise I do think that it is true to size. Next up, I have the adjustable Nubri bandeau in honeydew size small. Guys, like look at how beautiful this colorway is. I am obsessed with this color. I think it's just so, so gorgeous. I also have her in guava in a size extra small to compare for you guys. So right off the bat, I'll go ahead and put comparisons of extra small versus small here in terms of like measurements and whatnot. It's not that significant of a difference, but you will definitely feel that whenever you have it on. However, luckily it is adjustable. This is definitely a feature that I've never seen in a bandeau before. So I love the fact that we do have that adjustability. I will say that I like the support of the extra small more, but I think I like the coverage of a size small more. I could honestly go either way with this bra. Um, and I have worn the size small to the gym already. Haven't had any issues at all, but I did end up keeping this strap on because whenever I took it off, there was just not enough support there and I did find it sliding down. I'll get to all that here in a second. Let's just talk details first and foremost. So obviously it is a bandeau style bra with detachable and adjustable straps. So you can literally take this entire strap off, throw it to the side and the inside of this bra does does have like a little silicone grip going all the way to the back of the sports bra until obviously the bra ends and then goes into the adjustable situation but otherwise we do have that silicone lining all the way around the bottom band you can actually see it pretty clearly here is about an inch thick it just has an elastic sewn into like the very inside of that band right there so you don't feel it at all still very soft against the skin and once again this is made of nubri but i mean you can already i feel like you can see that right there that the bra is sliding down ever so slightly like there's definitely a difference between these two sides so I think that in terms of bandeau sports bras the crop shop boutique bandeau still reigns supreme in terms of being able to hold the girls up and not have it move because we can see right here that the bra is actually folding in on itself now you can kind of see where the pad is being folded underneath and like really working overtime to keep everything up you know what I'm saying so yeah I don't think that this is the best bandeau in the market however I I do think that it's Buff Bunny's most like supportive, most functional bandeau bra for a multitude of reasons. But I'm gonna put this strap back on first because I kind of need it. Okie dokie, strap is back on and this is also made of Nubri. So it's incredibly stretchy, very much like plush brushed fabric. And the fact that it's adjustable really helps out as well because dude, the amount of support that this gives me now is like, unmatched. Will I be able to wear it without the strap? I don't think so. Like I, I would just be really annoyed with constantly having to pull this up with the strap on. It obviously slid just a little bit, but nothing too intense like it did earlier. Obviously you can tell that it came down just a little bit here, but that's nothing that can't be fixed with me pulling this up even more. Overall, I would say that this is a solid like moderate to medium support on me. They're still bouncing obviously, but with a strap on, I feel so much better. Whereas without the strap, low support. It does come with removable bus pads, so you can take them out if you want to, but I'm just always gonna keep them in. That's just how I roll. But turning to the back, we have two adjustable straps back here. I will say that they do have a tendency to slide. So let me go ahead and like adjust this all the way back in. It doesn't really make it easy. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's doing the thing that I hate where it's kind of like separating it into two right there where it looks like there's two straps back here versus just like the one. The more I stretch out, the more that this actually stretches out as well. So as I'm like working out, if there's any need for me to like pull this bra back up at all, then this actually starts to like slide out of place. As you can see right there, it looks like it's about to snap actually. <laughs> like there's a lot of tension right here for this band. So yeah, just something to note that this kind of like slides a little bit easily. It doesn't fully stay in place. And if you're one to just keep pulling your bra up or, you know, move around a lot in this bra, then it will eventually slide out of place. It wasn't noticeable to the point where, you know, it was going from this side all the way to this side, right? It was just like an inch or so. It's just a piece of feedback that I had to mention simply because the fabric itself is so soft that it wasn't gonna be bound to stay in place anyway, if that makes sense. If you are in between sizes, you really could go either way just because the bra itself is very adjustable with either the strap or like the back band. Next up, we have the Plunge Seamless Sports Bra in the color white in a size small. I think Bailey said that there were a couple of iterations or like samples of this bra because initially it was like way too wide. So it 
it was, you know, showing nip type of thing, right? But she ended up bringing it in, which I can appreciate so, so much because I feel like a lot of issues that I've had in a wider neck sports bras, whether it be plunging or straight across, is that I gape so hard. But the fact that she brought the coverage in, Thank you, Bailey and design team for fighting for that because I feel so like secure in this sports bra. Nothing is falling out at all. I feel like the coverage is actually pretty good as well. Like this is a full bust coverage sports bra, like on the sides at least, despite it being so plunging. But this is made in the shape seamless fabric, which again, we've seen in Catherine's collection. So it's gonna be a more soft, almost brushed, like knit seamless fabric. Very, very stretchy, like. <laughs> Very, very stretchy. As we can see, there's again that plunging V-neck with a ribbed bottom band down here to just really hold everything up. Comes with very thin straps up top that are actually a little bit itchy. So I'm not the biggest fan of this strap because if we turn this around, you can actually see that there's like an exposed seam right there. And I hate whenever bras do that because it actually makes it very itchy like on your traps and your back, at least in my opinion. I guess I have like sensitive traps or whatever because yeah, this is like itching up a storm. It actually kind of reminds me of the uh, Honor Active Effortless sports bra, like the new one, because, oh my God, I hate those straps. There is stretch on this for sure. Definitely stretchier than the Honor Active straps, but because there's an exposed seam right there, it's still a little bit on the itchy side. It is, however, adjustable. I have it literally all the way at the bottom because if I have it any tighter, then it'll actually start to dig into my traps and become super uncomfortable. But even at its lowest setting, like, yeah, it's still gonna be a low support sports bra, but I don't feel like anything's being weighed down or that I just don't have any support at all. Like I feel a good lift, I feel held in, I feel fine. Overall with this bra, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know, I don't really care for it. I think it's just a little bit basic. And then in addition to that, like I think you can tell right here actually that even though it's a full like side coverage sports bra, that the seam at the edge right here is kind of digging into my armpit a little bit. And then if I have my arms straight, then the bust pad actually like digs in and kind of cups it inwards as well. You can tell more, yeah, right here. So even if I like pull it all the way out and then I just like move around a little bit, boom. It just goes back into being folded inside itself like that. So it's causing a little bit of like pinching at my armpits, which I really do not like in addition to the straps already like irritating my traps to begin with and then you can see this freaking cup pad so clearly i prefer a nude cup pad to white because i feel like in a white you could you know see very starkly what the pads looking like but even with a nude cup pad you can definitely see the cup pads <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah i don't know i just don't really like maybe it's just white white in addition to the cup pads being like sheer and whatnot just kind of makes this bra look a little bit cheap to me but maybe i would like it just a a little bit more if it was a different color and I wasn't able to see the cup pads. I mean, I'm still docking points because of this situation and then like this situation right here. But to me, it's kind of giving like undergarment. It's kind of giving bralettes. So I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of this sports bra, but anywho, if you're in between sizes, I would say to size up rather than down a hundred percent because if I'm wearing a size small and I already can't freaking adjust these straps and have to keep it all the way down here, then Lord knows I would not be able to make it in a size extra small. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely true to size or size up if in between. Next up, I have the Wonder Seamless Sports Bra in the color Onyx Black, size small. And right off the bat, this fabric for some reason feels like so much softer and stretchier than the previous plunge seamless sports bra fabric, although they are the same fabric. Like it's still made of the shape seamless fabric, but I don't know what it is. Like immediately whenever I pulled this out of the bag, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much softer. Like this just feels a little bit more stiff comparatively. They're both still very soft, but I don't know if it's just the dye or what, but yeah, I don't know. This, this fabric feels like insanely soft. Anywho, Wonder Seamless Sports Bra. Um, this bra is very interesting. I actually did not like this bra at all whenever I first saw it in the PDF. I still think my opinion remains the same. And I'm just like, maybe this is just not the silhouette for me, but I don't know. I just think that it makes my upper body look like gigantic for some reason. Anywho, whatever, let's just talk details. It kind of mimics like a bandeau just because the actual body of the bra is kind of like a bandeau shape, except for you have a keyhole in the middle right here followed by two straps that can be worn three different ways. So you can either wear this like so, where the straps are crossing like this. I think this is my favorite way to wear this. You can take one of the straps and cross it over to make it like a one shoulder moment, or you can uncross both of these straps and make it into a straight up and down moment. Again, 
it does have a keyhole in the middle right here that doesn't show anything at all. Like I can do the bend over test. Nothing is going to show guys. There's a lot of good coverage in this sports bra. It does have a little scrunch in the middle. I'm trying to show you guys. I know it's black, but oh, there you go. It has a scrunch in the middle right there just to separate the girls a little bit. Sorry, I'm just kind of like very... <laughs> chest forward right now. Yeah, you can kind of tell that the scrunch is going all the way down to the very bottom of the band right here, and it's separating the band into two. This is what it looks like as a whole. I don't know if I like that. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it was the um, the halter seamless sports bra where this looks very intentional, the inverted band situation. However, with this, it just doesn't look like it's supposed to do that. I don't know, it looks kind of weird to me, but anywho, we have a very thin bottom band, so it's still gonna be a short lined sports bra. Very stretchy, like holy crap, so stretchy. Does come with removable cup pads. We have the same kind of like seam detailing along the strap right here where there's an exposed seam. It's still like causing a little bit of an itch in my trap area. Like, I don't know, with this bra, I can't really get the strap to sit the way that I want it to because with the way that this specific style is worn for me, this strap kind of goes and like overlaps my shoulder blade. It doesn't sit in a way where I don't think about it. I'm definitely thinking about the sports bra the entire time that I'm wearing it. Like, okay, is it sitting correctly? Is it gonna move all over my shoulder blades? Is this gonna fall down? Which it already is. Like, it's literally folding in on itself right here. The seam, once again, you can see the cup pad like bulging out right here. I don't know, I don't like wearing a bra that has to make me think so much about the logistics of how it's fitting and what's going on. Like, I just wanna be able to put on the sports bra, know that it's functional, be on my way. But with this, I feel like there's just so much going on where I'm just having to think about things all the time. This is what I'm saying. Dude, the, the strap is literally like crossing over on itself and not on that side, but I'm just like, I'm having to think so much about how these straps are sitting. I think both sides now are kind of like turned. Every single time I raise my arms, this happens. So yeah, it's just not for me, unfortunately. Okay, next up, the piece that I was probably the most excited about in terms of tops is the long sleeve curve crop. I'm wearing the color lipstick red in a size small. It's giving like sexy, it's giving bombshell. I'm obsessed with this colorway. It has a squircle, squircle neckline. It's like a square-ish circle neckline. I think that's the phrase that Buff Bunny Collection uses to describe soft square necks like this. There is a top seam going along the entire like top portion. We obviously have the bust right here with no cup pads, by the way. You can put your own cup pads here if you wanted to, but it does not come with cup pads. So definitely make a note of that. It is double lined, meaning that there's two pieces of fabric versus just one. So I don't think y'all can see me nipping at all, which is not Nice. So we love that for me. The bottom here is muddled after the curve sports bra, which like a signature detail of the curve sports bra is obviously this curve underneath the bust here. It does not have a bottom band. So similar to the curve sports bra, it just has the seam at the bottom holding the two pieces of fabric together. And I know Bailey mentioned that it didn't ride up on her and show under boob at all, but for me, it's, it's definitely, um, my, my under boob is completely on display. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, I will not be doing any type of raising arm movements in this at all. It's like a fashion piece for the gym, you know what I mean? Like I could definitely wear this to the gym. I see myself wearing this more for athleisure and lifestyle, but yeah, it, <laughs> just with one arm raise, my under boobs already showing. So that's really unfortunate because the curved sports bra does not ride up on me at all. And I love the curved sports bra. It is hands down my favorite high neck sports bra. Yeah, kind of a bummer that this rides up. However, I do feel very held in. I was a little bit scared of this neckline causing me to gape, but as we can see, there's no gaping whatsoever in this top. Like I feel really good about this neckline and I don't know what it is because typically wider neck sports bras and tops always make me gape, but I think this is one of the first times that I'm able to wear like my true size and tops with a square neckline and not have it gape. So we love that for me. Like I'm so happy. I was also very nervous about the sleeves being too baggy because in the long sleeve crop top that Catherine released in her collection, I believe that one in a size small was very big in the armholes. And I just felt a lot of bagginess and looseness in the sleeves in a size small. So I sized down to a size extra small. There's still extra 
extra fabric. You can kind of see right here in the elbow area as well as like my bicep area too, but it's not crazy. Like it still sits flush whenever you have your arms down. So you can't tell that there's like a crazy amount of extra fabric. And then in addition to that, whenever you go down to the sleeves, it actually tapers at the end. So that way it's like super slim fitting. It kind of reminds me of the Colorado zip jacket where those sleeves kind of like went inwards a little bit and it was very compressive at the actual wrist area. Same thing with this. Kind of comes in at the wrist area so there's no extra fabric at all. Love that detail. I think that is so like well thought out because it just makes everything sit very flush and there's still enough space right here for your thumbs to sit in the thumb holes without it digging in. So freaking cute and the back is just completely covered in everything. It does fit true to size in my opinion but if you're in between sizes I would highly recommend sizing up not down in this top. All right this is going to be the Ariant Bolero Shrug. I don't know why it's called a Bolero Shrug. I feel like it should be one over the other but I mean I don't know, whatever. We have seen this before. This is also in the Honeydew colorway in a size small. No changes have been made to this. It's still the exact same. I feel like my feedback for this is also the exact same. I just wish we had a little bit more coverage right here. I feel like this is just not enough because then for sports bras, there's a little bit of a bulge here because this, not that it's digging in, but it's just sitting very flush up against my armpit. I don't really like seeing that. So I would have preferred if it was like this. I did wear this to the gym with this bra actually. And I don't even think I took this off, which is crazy because I typically get very, very hot and long sleeve tops for one, let alone anything covering my arms or whatever. But I wore this to the gym, kept it on the entire time and I felt fine. This does not cover like these two steps of the sports bra. It sits right on top of it, which I think is cute though, because you know, you can just still show this off or whatever, but it still covers the rest of your back. And this fabric is double lined for the body at least. I think you can tell even with like the color difference. Yeah, especially whenever I stretch out my arm that the body of it is more opaque than the actual sleeve, which is single line. I haven't experienced this issue yet, but holy crap, there's been so many athletes in the Discord chat that have said that right here for their boleros have split open at the seams. Again, I haven't had that issue yet, so I don't know what it is, but definitely be careful whenever you're slipping these on. Lastly, in terms of sizing, I would say that this fits super true to size. There's no need to size up or down, but if you are in between, I would say size up rather than down. Okie dokie, aggressive scrunch, seven inch short. Once again, this is in the color Venom, size extra small. I was also wearing guava, again, in a size extra small, and I'll insert squat tests for guava there. I would say that in a nude thong, guava is 100% squat proof, like we are good to go there. Even whenever you wear a black brief, I would say that it was like a solid 6.5 out of 10 in terms of squat proofness, because standing in the mirror, you can definitely see it, but I expected it to be way more sheer than it actually was, which is so surprising. So yeah, all in all, just wear a nude thong and you should be good to go in that legging. But let's talk details about this. This is made in the butter fabric. They have released it in shorts just a couple months ago, but they're coming back in more colorways. There is a difference between this and the old like V1 aggressive scrunch legging. So this is gonna have half an inch of additional rise because a couple gals were saying that whenever they wore this, it kind of like slid down whenever they were squatting. So Bailey and the design team just added an additional half an inch to make up for that. That's the only difference though. Otherwise, it's still the exact same. It has a double lined waistband. Very, very stretchy. Once again, it's made of the butter fabric. So there's a lot of forgiveness to this. Overall, it's a solid like low to moderate support. There's also a slightly tapered V seam right here with very thin seam details all the way around. And then once you get to the side, the piping detail here is more reminiscent of what we've seen in like the curve legging. However, the same issue that I've seen in the previous aggressive scrunch legging is still here with these shorts because this fabric starts to fold over a little bit and cause these wrinkles, which are actually really annoying to me for some reason. However, it's still flattering, still comfortable. This is a seven inch short. I know it looks like a five inch right now because I have it like hiked up all the way in my cheeks. If we turn to the back here, we have the Buff Bunny Collection silicone logo right there in the center to mimic the front V taper. We also have a super exaggerated glute seam 
seam back here and it definitely sits above the glutes as well and then as we can see here or maybe not because in the name it says that this is the aggressive scrunch legging and I don't think that that's necessarily true because it looks pretty crazy here right like it's literally just a couple of these seams like ruched together and then there is an elastic in the inner portion of this however once you put it on then it completely stretches out you can't even tell at all which is why I'm saying that like I barely had to put in any work for it to sit like that because it literally just sat like that right out the gate I love me a good scrunch bum legging don't get me wrong but if a legging is just gonna sit in your cheeks like that without you having to do any work and it looks like that then count me the freak in you know what I'm saying like these are just so flattering I love them so freaking much I will say though that because they're losing some of the length because it's sitting up there like this you do get a lot of wrinkling around the crotch I noticed that I was going like this a lot at the gym just kind of like pulling the fabric away from my crotch because it's just gonna settle back in there two squats in and it's already kind of like settling back in there and wrinkling so that part is a little bit annoying and it's a little bit abrasive right there um, I did get a request from one of you guys to put the short all the way down and not in my cheeks so if I were to just pull this straight up and not adjust it at all this is what it looks like it's giving biker short on me this is what the back is looking like if I don't do anything at all. There is definitely a little bit of cheek separation at the very bottom right there once you actually pull it up. I don't pull it up from the waistband. I try to go with the fabric from the outside and then pull it in like that. Take the fabric from the side, pull it in and upwards like that. And then with that extra fabric, work it up there. It also causes for the waistband to sit a little bit higher on you as well. So definitely bear that in mind. There is a world of a difference between how it looks now on, on my butt versus before. Hope that that helps. Let's go ahead and do a squat test for this. This is in a nude thong. I'm pretty sure this color is like completely squat proof, but maybe I'll be proven wrong. I don't know. Let's wear a black brief. Okie dokie. Black brief is on. I feel like you can't see a single thing. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, not my knee popping. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good to go in this colorway. So completely squat proof. Woo. And just to address sizing, I feel like these leggings and shorts are very much true to size. If you're in between sizes, my gut reaction is to say size down because this fabric is just so, so stretchy. Like there's no digging into your thighs and whatnot at all. However, a lot of gals who have worn these leggings and shorts, like especially gals in my discord have advised to size up because of the camel toe situation with how scrunch bum shorts work and whatnot, right? Or even if you're just wearing any legging where you're wanting it to sit like in between your cheeks, if you're pulling the fabric from the front to the back and just kind of like wedging it up there the fabric's going to be pulled from here back so what that causes a little bit of discomfort in this area that can cause a little bit more ct especially in a hidden scrunch legging such as these in order to alleviate ct a lot of gals sized up so do with that information what you may last but i might have are the contour leggings and limon pepino size extra small dude i loved the contour pocket shorts whenever they came out last year so for them to remove the pockets I was a huge fan I just would never use pockets to begin with I don't really care for pockets I'm pretty indifferent to them and if I had to choose between buying a pocket legging versus not I would just buy the one without them so I was so happy to find out that they made a contour legging without the pocket it has the same details as the contour pocket leggings with the seams right here that go all the way down the side of the leg virtually all the way to the bottom this actually reminds me a lot of the curve leggings too where the seam is placed like at your shin or whatever we have a seam at the very back of your calf as well coming up the side of the leg all the way to the back where there are matching contour seams in the back band in addition to the double line waistband it is sitting high waisted on me right at the smallest portion of my waist a little bit higher but that's just because I have a shorter torso but I believe this is a true high rise legging not ultra high rise like the legacy leggings are it's fitting me at like a solid medium compression like in the body the waistband is still like a moderate to medium compression. It's not gonna be a legging that you feel like you have to take off after a couple hours because it's just way too tight. The new brief fabric as a whole is a very dense brushed fabric. So it just feels really, really good on the body. Once again, we have that silicone raised logo front and center, or I guess back and center right there. Same contour lines that I've already mentioned as well as a slightly tapered glute seam. It's still cutting into my glutes ever so slightly. They could 
be a little bit higher. I'm not gonna lie. However, still flattering though. I still like how these leggings look and everything. Does it slide down at all? I don't really recall these leggings ever sliding down on me. Nope, sitting in place. We are good to go. So let's go ahead and do a squat test for this. And this is also in a nude thong, by the way. I don't know where my Macy's gift card is, which is why you haven't seen it in this review. So apologies. I've been looking for her all over, but I truly do not know where she is. Okie dokie. We have the black brief in and you can't see a mother effing thing. I was like checking myself out in the mirror. You can't see anything. There you go. And for sizing, I would say that this fits very, very true to size. If you're in between sizes and you size down, it'll be like a snatching high support type of legging, but sizing up will just give you a little bit more leeway. I think that, I feel like sizing up will give you excess fabric in the crotch though. So with this fabric being still so stretchy, yeah, I would say to size down if you're in between sizes. Honestly, yeah. If you're in between, size down. Otherwise, stick true to size and you will be just fine. These are very true to size. Alrighty friends, that is it for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed, that you found it helpful. I'm so sorry that I didn't have any of these seamless pieces bottoms wise to review for you guys. That was something that I was so excited about. But again, I just think that with the allocation that they had, they prioritized their athletes, obviously, and they just didn't have enough in stock to send over to affiliates without it like affecting you guys' experience when it comes to launch day and whatnot. So apologies, but I hope that with what I was able to provide that it was helpful once again. And lastly, launch is once again this Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time, so July 27th. If you found this video helpful, then I will leave my support code down here. It's just my name, Tracy. I so appreciate you guys' support with this partnership over the past like year and some change. It just means the absolute world to me, and I just appreciate your trust in me so much. So thank you in advance if you do choose to support me, but leave any questions that you have down below. I will also be running a giveaway over on my Instagram as I usually do, and I'll be running a Q&A prior to launch as well. So definitely follow me over at Tracy B Fit if you haven't already. But otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will talk to you guys later. So, bye!